What's up YouTube, Sploosh here, and I'm bringing you Nukin' Like a Newbie Part 5. I'm really excited about this video because this is one of my favorite maps and favorite nuke spots as a newbie. Back in the day, playing this game, I really, really was excited about this map. Um, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about this map, but, you know, first of all, you know, being a newbie, you kind of have an evolution. I really liked Cold-Blooded and Silent Scar, and I thought that was really cool. And I used to love this map for that, you know, because this map kind of allows you to hang out in the woods and everything. But, uh, you know, now nuking on this map in this spot, I just love it. There is one other spot that's a bit more difficult on the other side of the map, but this is my favorite. So, uh, you see what I did there? Whenever killstreaks try to kill me, I always jump down. I've dodged predators and harriers, and people like to shoot mean things at me when they see me up here. Uh, I do pretty bad in the beginning, and as you see, I die. That's actually kind of a weakness of the map, is a rocket hitting that spot. If someone's up there, that's what I do to them. I noob tube that corner wall. Um, but I wanted to show that beginning of the game because it shows my mentality. It shows kind of like my claymores. It shows kind of like what I prioritize in the beginning of the game. Um, it's interesting, too, when you play up there... I could probably th show you three of these videos of me up here and all of them would be completely different because sometimes the enemy is always attacking from the back side and sometimes they're always attacking from this side. Uh, this way is definitely the easier way to nuke because the whole point of being up here is really to spam that far corner. You can hit that wall pretty high up and still get kills. You know it's kind of funny when I used to play up here I was so bad at this game that doing that little shot I just did right there probably would have been too much skill for me. <laughs> so I kind of cheat, I guess, because that was not 100% noob. I mean, being able to actually pull out your gun and shoot that guy, I mean, it seems so obvious, and yeah, what's the big deal? But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just being completely honest with you, man. I was terrible at this game when I first started playing it. I mean, I can't express that enough. When you try to use the sticks of an Xbox controller for the first time when you're used to a mouse and keyboard for your like whole life it's just a bizarre thing you know so uh... once i get my streaks i like to hang out here i think i actually blew up my claymore there kinda weird but um... once i get my streaks i try to hang out here this is kinda my hiding spot um, was expecting that harrier to get more kills it usually does especially in this situation where they don't really have anything to hide under on that side of the map um, but just doing my work. I think I got a hit marker there, so yep, there they are. <laughs> this actually this is gonna be a really short video because this spot works so good. Um, I think if you're not very good at this game, this probably is the kind of map you're gonna look forward to. Uh, I remember hearing someone like fisticuffs or something joking about everyone gets their nuke on this map. I don't know what he meant by it, but I definitely can relate. Um, of course, when I'm in my chopper gun, the first thing I'm looking for is how close are they to me. I obviously want to keep myself alive more than kill. Uh, if I'm dead, nuke doesn't really matter, you know what I mean? So, uh, do some pretty good work with this chopper. I don't think um, a chopper or an AC-130 would have made a huge difference here. Um, I am, I'm getting blocked a bit, so you know, AC-130 might actually have done better for me on this map. On a side note, I've actually started to use the AC-130, kind of practicing for Modern Warfare 3. I find it's not too difficult. The trick with the AC-130 is you have to empty your ammo. Like, So, like, you use the first gun, obviously, then you switch to the second gun, and it has, I think, like, three or four bursts. But if you do, like, two bursts, and then switch to the other guns, it doesn't reload. And, uh, there you go. I got my nuke right at the very, 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 very last second there. But yeah, that's the trick to the AC-130, you gotta empty your ammo, you know, so even even the little chain gun doesn't have infinite ammo, you gotta kinda run it to the end. And uh, you see me shooting here because I'm just so excited to finally get this map, I feel like I never get to play this map. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, sploosh out. Hell yeah!